Hello. <laughs> Alright, this clip is uh, sort of a review for the last clip regarding Deuteronomy chapter 18, verse 18. And I just want to kind of summarize it because I think some things are left unclear. And then add an extra, a few extra points that I picked up from another um, Muslim video that I saw trying to purport that this is in reference to Muhammad. <clears throat> All right. Huh? <laughs> um, we wanted to clarify the fact that the prophecy regarding a future prophet in Deuteronomy chapter 18, verse 18, is not in reference to a specific man. It's in reference to uh, a prophet in general. And one might think that this is an exaggeration, like what a lame excuse or whatever, that you can't think of anything better than this. He's just going to say it's a reference to one, uh, pro uh, to one type of a person, a prophet, but not to a specific prophet himself. Well, actually, that's not so odd. In fact, we see in many times in the Hebrew Bible um, where singular terms are used in reference to a singular type, but not a singular individual of that type. And we have a few instances in these very same verses regarding a prophet in reference uh, to the man who will reject the prophet, reject his teaching. In, in the context of Deuteronomy 18, verse 18, it refers to the man, or ish. So if somebody wants to say that it's a stretch for me to say that the prophecy that a future prophet will arise is in reference to all future prophets, then we should also say that the man referred to here is not referring to all men who are of the type that rebel, but rather one specific person will violate the words of the prophet. And certainly this wasn't the case with those who violate the words of Muhammad, as whole peoples violate Muhammad's teaching, including myself. <laughs> not that I intentionally want to reject a prophet, it's a matter of not considering him a prophet because of my conception of what a prophet is. If I knew that he were a prophet, I would in an instant repent. This is uh, the same situation with Jesus and the same situation with Moses. Both Christians and Muslims claim to believe that Moses is a prophet, but from a Jewish perspective, they're clearly violating his word. Um, but yet I'm sure if Muslims and Christians thought that they're truly violating the uh, intended teachings of Moses, they would want to repent and make themselves right. In any case, <clears throat> uh, we have in the continuation of Deuteronomy chapter 18, another example. It also refers to a future prophet who will uh, speak rebelliously. He will speak in the Almighty's name and lead us astray. This also is used in the singular definite sense. Hanovi, the prophet who will do this. But surely we all agree that this is not one person, that it's refer reference to one specific type, which includes many individuals. All right, now um, in watching a YouTube video, I picked up uh, a new proof that Deuteronomy 18 verse 18 is in reference to Muhammad and that is Deuteronomy chapter 34 verse 10. Uh, Deuteronomy chapter 34 verse 10 states that um, no prophet arose from among the people of Israel who was likened to Moses that spoke uh, with the Almighty face to face, and then the next verse goes on to say, and who did amazing miracles, etc., that were known uh, in Egypt and, and were renowned wonders, basically. So the uh, Muslim in this video wants to claim that this means that uh, since Deuteronomy chapter 18, verse 18 says that the future prophet who will arise who, who the Almighty will raise up, will be like Moses, uh, commanding the people of Israel. And since Deuteronomy chapter 34, verse 10, states that a prophet did, uh, did not arise among the people of Israel, like unto Moses, who, 
when you spoke with the Lord face to face. This means that the prophet of Deuteronomy 18 verse 18 cannot be from among the people of Israel because Deuteronomy 34 verse 10 said specifically a prophet among the people of Israel. Now here's the thing. <clears throat> He wants to claim that this is Muhammad. First of all, even if his understanding of Deuteronomy chapter 34 verse 10 is true, who says it's necessarily Muhammad? Maybe it's someone else that Muslims aren't aware of or are, or are not convinced of. But in any case, um, we can also look at it this way. Did Muhammad claim to speak to the Almighty face to face? Or by means of Jabril, Gabriel? Did uh, Muhammad do miracles that were miraculous throughout uh, the land of Egypt or Saudi Arabia or wherever that are, are renowned. Not that I know of. I mean, if he did, it's not something that stands out particularly in the Quran, like the miracles of, of Yeshu, of the Messiah that Christians uh, claim. <clears throat> so, I would like to say that this Muslim guy's entire understanding of Deuteronomy chapter 34 verse 10 is askew. How so? It is askew by the fact that the distinction that is intended in Deuteronomy 34 verse 10 when it says that a prophet has not arisen like Moses, that distinction doesn't mean a prophet hasn't arisen that is like Moses, period. Because it clearly states in in two, in two chapters towards the beginning of the book of Joshua, as I said in my last clip, where the Almighty himself says that Joshua is, is as Moses. <clears throat> um, so there we have the testimony of the Creator himself. So what does it mean? The verse itself, Deuteronomy 34 verse 10, explains. It doesn't leave it at, a uh, prophet has not arisen like Moses, but it goes on, who spoke to the Lord face to face. That's the distinction. Um, and this was already given in Numbers chapter 12, verse 6, where the Almighty says that he spoke uh, with Moses expressly, not by means of uh, visions or dreams and, and uh, difficult uh, allegorical visions or whatever, but not this way will it be with other prophets. Other prophets will receive prophecy by means of a vision or a dream, which is called a night vision. <clears throat> that is the distinction. Moses' prophecy was of a completely different type. He didn't receive his prophecy in a vision or in a dream. Um, and his prophecy was a level without a mediator, and the only prophet to have attained prophecy have been given prophecy of this type through which the everlasting commandments would be given. All later prophets were given only temporary commandments uh, or commandments which are to promote the upholding of the commandments given in Torah, the law of Moses. Um, another interesting point I'd like to point out is that this guy wants to base uh, Deuteronomy, Deuteronomy 18 verse 18 as support for Muhammad based upon a chapter in Deuteronomy that Muslims often claim isn't even from Moses, that isn't even valid prophecy. Deuteronomy chapter 34 verse 10, which this guy is quoting, um, they want to say was written after Moses. So even if that's true, that would mean that Prophet has not risen among the people of Israel like unto Moses, besides what I've already said, would also mean that only up until this time, when this chapter was written and then put into the text, of course I don't believe that, as the Almighty himself uh, indicates, as this chapter itself indicates, when describing the death of, of Moses, that Moses would die according to the word of the Lord. What word of the Lord? The word of the Lord that we're that we're reading in this chap 